All right, quick demo on a Coates 4050A <clears throat> shovel cone, center pins, the bottom shovel, the inflation pedal for the the air. That's the hose, the gauge. Um, here's the pedal for the uh, bead breakers. And also for the tire bar to spin the tire off. That's the tire bar. Um, now I'll set the phone down and uh, do a quick demo of the machine. I'm just simply going to uh, flip this tire inside out. Um, not inside out, dummy, but... Uh, I'm going to flip the tire around because it's wearing on one side. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't fucking do that, blah, 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 kiss my ass. Um, I've done it a few times. Works fine. Doesn't hurt the tire. So say what you want. Sit right on here like this. A second um, pointed pin goes where a lug stud would go. Um, kind of center it. Take this cone. Spin it on the shaft. Shake the tire a little bit. Get it nice and tight. Um, I will say I've used this a few times. I'm not... not uh, Got a long time on this machine because it's... It's an older design. There's definitely better machines out there. This machine works really well on steel wheels. It's not the greatest with TPMS sensors. Um, kind of sucks for those. Aluminum wheels. If you want to, if you have a really nice set of rims and you're trying to be delicate, it's not really a delicate machine. But it works really well. Um, I feel like it saves a couple steps with the steel wheels. Um, for this F450, these steel wheels are going to be, this is perfect for those wheels. And uh, we have to do a lot of them here. So I'll go ahead and show you. Pull the shovel head over. Set it on the, not on the rim, but right up next to it. You don't have to do anything with the shovel underneath. Hit the pedal. Breaks the bead, top and bottom, same time. I just push the bead down on top. Set it down. Take out your tire bar, grab the lip of the tire. This slot is going to line up with this um, bar here. Um, whenever I use this machine, I keep a hand on this so it can never fling off. It probably won't, but just so I don't catch one in the chops, I'm going to hang on to it. Kind of spins around, spins back around. Pull the bar off, lift the tire a little, grab the bottom bead, do the same thing. There's your tire. I'm gonna come over here, just loop the tire. So I'm going to put the same one right back on. Making sure I put the wear side that's worn a little bit. I'm trying to prevent this tire from getting destroyed before too much tread's been worn off it. So instead of using the, the grab hook this time for the bead, you're going to use this side. This side goes towards the rim. Kind of just rides on the lip of the rim. Set your tire on there. I kind of just start to bead as far as I can. Once again, I hold on to the bar. Um, hit the pedal. Spin, pops the tire on. Let it spin back around. Pull it out. Little twist. Set it back up on the rim again. 
show you what it looks like on the rim on this side, in case anybody cares. Just like that. Like I said, if you're trying to be delicate, that's not real delicate on a nice aluminum shiny wheel. So the top beads the same way. Hang on to the bar. The tire's on. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to inflate it. And I don't think I have to show anybody how to inflate a tire. Hope this helps. I'm out.